Hey everybody, it's noon and that means it's catacomb time here on the Sworn Nation. Let me give you everybody a couple minutes to come in and join the group. Hello, hello. Greetings and salutations everyone. Hope everyone is having a great short week. Um, I hope everyone's having a really beautiful day. Because it is lovely out today, especially here in Arizona. It's finally stunningly beautiful out. So let's wait. Everyone gets in. Say your hellos, your howdy duties. How have you been? I've been good. I'm having a good week. It's a short week, busy week. Hope you guys are all uh, enjoying your short week, if you have a short week. Um, I hope to heck you guys enjoy your festivities. I plan to make my waistband grow about six sizes. I'm kidding, because that is a lot. Bob, how are you? Always a pleasure to have you, Bob. Getting ready to be the crazy season with Bob, because he's our Santa Claus. The one and only Santa boom, 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 boom. Hey, it's Bob is in the house. Everybody say hi. Jeff, how are you today? Ah. Boy, oh boy. What's the weather like in your guys' area? Are you guys uh, looking to have a really nice uh, Thanksgiving weekend weather? Um, I don't know if any of y'all like snow, but if you don't, I hope it doesn't snow on your holiday. Because uh, I guess that's not too cool. So, yeah, it was a nice crisp 48, 49 degrees this morning in Tempe, in Tempe, in Phoenix, which is so pleasant instead of going out to work, 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning, and it's already 90 degrees, so bless it, bless it be. Thank you, Carmen. How are you? Wow, look at all these beautiful people. Nice, Bob. You've got the perfect weather. I hear you're having problems. Uh, uh, where are you at, Bob? Are you out in Florida? So I hear you're having issues with big black and white lizard type things that people have bought at pet shops and then let go. <laughs> Um, so everybody, um, I wanted to start things off real quick and, um, kind of let you guys know, uh, one thing, a couple things I am very grateful for. Um, I'm grateful to be here, part of Coffin Comics. I'm very thankful to work with the people I do. I'm thankful that I finally get to work with Brian and Francesca Polito. It's many years I've wanted to work with them and now I have the chance. And I'm also thankful for my family and my friends. And also I'm very thankful to be uh, here with you guys presenting these shows. So thank you everybody. Um, thank you very much. Uh, I'm glad you're enjoying what I'm doing. Uh, I continue to hopefully uh, do you guys right and make sure you have a good time. So anywho, Jay, damn, it's good to see you. Pythons, Jay, um, or I should say Bob, I just heard a story about these black and white iguana type things that are running around now that are going to be the next nuisance so um yeah i i've seen the stuff on the pythons and it's pretty pretty scary so anyway um real quick a couple announcements for y'all black is friday black friday for coffin starts tomorrow thursday 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 get your little fingers ready because we've got some amazing exclusives i'm going to show you near the end of the show and then also, oh my God, the vault. Each day of the weekend, there will be items dropping out of the vault. New items every day. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. 35 items per day. So, lots of cool stuff. Uh, I hope you like what I picked. Some of it is stuff that's pretty old. <laughs> but I also threw in some new stuff in there, some mock-ups. And uh, other things I hope you guys will really enjoy. Um, so let's show you right now what's on the catacombs for today. First thing I did, talking about horror on uh, the CCSN show on Mondays. Well, I now have the Jason X special number one. These are the platinum editions. I have a few left in stock. I am selling the last of the inventory I have of all this stuff on the catacombs. So once these are gone, this is gone. 
I may have a few lying around. Um, I'll definitely do some digging, find out for you guys. But these are also, most of them are all still sealed in the original plastic and they still have the COA. There's a couple I opened for like photographs and to do little videos with uh, for eBay. So I still have a couple of these left, but once they are gone, that is it. Um, I think it'd be fun to have Brian sign a couple of these Platinum Editions if you guys are big fans. So here you go. Jason X Special Platinum Edition. I think that is the one Friday the 13th movie I actually uh, like the most that came out in the last 20 odd years. I was actually thought it was the most silliest, craziest Friday the 13th one I'd ever seen. And I thought the silliest was going to be um, Jason Takes Manhattan. But no, I thought Jason X was the bomb diggity, as the kids say these days. Okay, maybe they said that in the 90s and 80s. But uh, anyways, I'm old. Ha <laughs> Next up, we got Jason X Special. This is the Terror cover. I only think I have one or two, and that's it. These are gone. Gone, daddy, gone. And why the heck is my phone kicking me off the sworn nation? I swear, tarnations. There we go. I can see people. Dude, I'm glad. I'm glad I can do that. I really do. Uh, Bob, you have killer bees. Dude, get out of the jungle state. I'd be terrified. And I have stuff that, you know, tell you a story. Great story. Um, lived here my whole life. Never got stung by a scorpion. Sitting in my living room in the middle of the night. Feel a burn on my butt. Realize what the hell's going on. Didn't get a second or third. Scorpion crawled up my boxers. Stung me three times in the butt. Yeah, that was fun. Anyways, <laughs> next up, we have the Jason X special. This is the wrap cover. Again, I maybe have one or two of these left, and that is it. <laughs> so enjoy these. These are classics. Uh, like I told you before, I was really excited um, when these were being solicited to the comic shops back in 04, 05, I believe it was. Um, how excited I was to see Brian's name on like 80s slasher film characters like Jason, Freddy. Um, I know he did some Chuckies for another publisher. But yeah, I was so excited. I, I loved ordering these copies because I was like, cool, here's a real fan that is writing uh, comics for other fans. So I always thought it was an appropriate mix and I'm glad I could present those with you guys today. Next up, another classic slasher. I have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This is the grind number one. I do not have many copies of Texas Chainsaw Massacre at all. Um, even when I put them on eBay, I did not have much stock. Um, I did have a couple blood red foils and gold foils, but those got scooped up fairly quickly. So if I find some of that stuff, I'll definitely putting it on future episodes of the Catacombs along with anything else I can find. Um, so you're going to see new stuff, very rare stuff, and a mix of, you know, the old stuff as well. So remember, most of this stuff is actually all this stuff will stick around for five days and then boom, it disappears. Where it will go next? Don't know. You'll have to find out or maybe I'll come up with some weird idea to present them later. But just a heads up, five days on pretty much everything on the catacombs. Tornadoes and meth heads in Kansas. We have meth heads here too, Jay. Um, unfortunately, it's weird to see them come out at night uh, in the city I was at on a Sunday, enjoying my pizza and a beer and decide to you know, call it a night and turn around. It's like the streets were empty and then all of a sudden it hit like 9 p.m. and all of a sudden all of these people started coming from behind buildings and stuff and it was pretty creepy. It's like something out of Night of the Living Dead. Uh, next up. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Grind, issue one. This is the terror cover. Again, I do not have many of these items. Uh, once these are gone, these are it. These are the last of the last. I'm hoping I can find some more. I do have uh, some more stuff um, that Brian uh, will give me. He's like, oh, here, here's some stuff I found. I don't know what's in them. All I know is it's like, okay, the adventure begins, and I can't wait to show those treasures to you guys. Next up, this is probably the coolest thing I've ever offered on the catacombs that is an old produced item. This is, and there is only a hundred of these made, 
I sold a couple on eBay. This is it. This is the final copy, unless I stumble across more. This is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Special Number 1. This is the Royal Blue Foil Edition. Royal Blue Foil. Only 100 were made. Here is the official COA that comes behind the book. 100 of these made. This is it. My last copy. Get it while I got it, guys. Texas Chainsaw Massacre Special Number 1, The Grind, Royal Blue Foil. Royal Blue, Royal Blue. Am I blue? Heck no. I'm hanging out with you people. All right. Next up, I got another classic. Classic. We're talking early aughts. This is a signed and number copy. It is number four out of 100. I have yet to find any more. So this could be the last one. This is Brian Polito's Lady Death, a medieval tale, number one, signed and numbered. And there is the COA on the back. There you go, guys. I only have the one. One and done, one and done. But wait, what if someone scoops up number one? Well, I actually have an issue three that is also signed in number. Lady Death, A Medieval's Tale. This is number 47 out of 50, signed by Brian. These are from the Cross Gen series. And I do have the really awesome COA. This is number 47, issue three. This is my last copy. I have yet to find any more of these signed numbered editions. Now, I do have two of number four. I have number seven out of 50 signed and numbered. And it does have the COA. And I have issue four, number nine out of 50 signed. Once these are gone, these are gone. I do not have any more with that great, awesome COA. So we'll have to see what I can dig up. Another great item, classic Lady Death Medieval Tale number six. This is a signed numbered uh, limited edition. This is number 13, lucky number 13 people out of 50. Number 13 out of 50 and it has the COA. Number 13 out of 50. I know a lot of people like that number 13. Well, now's your chance to grab one. All right, real quick. Let's see if anyone's got any questions. All right, next up. This is issue four. This is a platinum foil cover. This is Belladonna number four. And I do have a COA showing it was limited to only 700. I only have two copies that I've found so far. This is it. Brian Polito's Belladonna number four. I believe I have two copies. And once those are gone, it's gone. Next up. And this is the only copies I have ever been able to find of this title. So I packed them in a four pack. It includes Gypsy Preview Starlight Cover. And this is a four pack. It includes issue one, the premium cover. I only have one of these sets and that's it. All I have of this title. There is issue two, the premium cover. This is all I have for this title. I have nothing else. I have yet to find anything for this title. And next up is Gypsy number three. This is the premium cover edition. So this is a four pack of books, the Gypsy four pack. And I'll be doing, uh, if I have this stuff for it, I'll be doing other little uh, mini sets and packs of editions that I like only have one of or something like that. So expect to see some more fun stuff like that. So those are the items I have thrown up. I do have multiples of some of these, but a majority of everything, I only have one to two copies and that is it. That is it. They are going to be gone. 
I'm hoping I can find some more of these uh, slasher comics for you guys. Um, they've done really well for me on eBay. So when eBay started to being um, weirdos, I decided, heck with it, I'm bringing all this fun stuff to you guys where it belongs in-house at Coffin Comics. So see if anyone has any questions. Oh, I have one for you guys. What is your favorite thing you're planning to eat tomorrow? And also, guess how much pounds will you gain tomorrow? I think that'd be a fun one. I'm expecting to, um, I love my stuffing to stuff myself with. So I'm expecting at least 12 pounds of bulk. I want to look like Jabba the Hutt in a sombrero for you guys next. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. Are you, oh God, I'd have a stroke in no time. So real quick, let me just go over a couple other notes I have. Let's check the time. Okay. 15 minutes here we go so a couple other things in case anyone didn't notice uh the hollow fiend spooktacular shipping update a new ship date will be the week of december 7th um and this is the um message brian sent out to everyone printing the coffin shaped editions to the same exacting standards as our other books has been a challenge and has required several revisions However, we remain committed to the quality you expect from Coffin, and you will see it reflected in the books when you receive them. Thank you for your patience and your understanding, and I apologize for any inconvenience this has caused. We're pretty straight up, guys. We you know, want to let you know what's going on on things, and we want to make sure when we're producing something unique like a Coffin-shaped book, we want to make sure it is as perfect of a copy as you would expect from us. Um, you know, we take pride on ourselves really trying to make sure we took really good quality books because, you know, some people are just readers, but a lot of you are collectors and you know, you want the best quality book you can get. I get it. We understand it. We're all collectors too. Hey, Brandy is actually, uh, all, uh, into collecting shoes. So, I mean, we all have our niches. What do you Nice, Jay. Good on you. I can't wait to see you at Sworn, Sworn Fest, dude. I cannot wait. We're going to have some good times. All right, so I got that out of the way. I let you guys about um, most items for the blackest Black Friday sale. God, I love how we name things. Um, <laughs> um, let's see. Thursday, uh, 7 p.m. Uh, was when the first items will be dropping off from the vault. Friday, 1 p.m., Mountain Standard Time, Saturday, the 28th at 1 p.m., and there will be another item dropping on Sunday. Um, they neglected to type that in there, but 35 items for each of those days will be dropped from the vault. And they just will be up there for a limited time. What we're going to do is we're going to drop them that first day and then just let them ride out. So you have an opportunity, if you see that item that you've been wondering about and you see it, grab it. You do have maybe a day or two to think about it because there'll be 5 billion other people wanting that too. So anyways, um, just a heads up on that. I really hope you guys like the selection. I did a lot of digging and I had a lot of fun building this up for you guys. So Next up, I want to show you guys some of the uh, Black is the Black comic exclusives we are doing. Cannot wait. These are a lot of fun. You guys know we like, uh, well, we definitely like uh, keeping you guys on your toes. We have prints and we have comic editions, of course. And I'm going to show you those. Um, it's a very cool time of year. Uh, one thing I am really happy about is 2020 is almost over. And I think we can all agree with that. Thank goodness we're almost out of it. So here we go. Just undo this, bink. Well, let's see if I can do it without killing everything. Beep. Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop. Oh, shenanigans. Get off, there we go. Hi everybody, how are you? Ooh, la, 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 la. I will sing to you during the omission. Oh, 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 I didn't mean to do that, hello. It's all dark in there, spooky. All right. So, first things first. <laughs> Got some vault things waiting for you guys. Look at that. The vault, the vault, the vault. 
Look at what Mel did. Mel's really good at decorating, guys. Round of applause for Mel. <laughs> you know, the Medieval Lady Dust series has um, always been those ones that um, I had a lot of customers uh, wanting to uh, complete. Hey, what's up, everybody? All right, so let's get the ball rolling with all these beautiful, sexy things we're going to be selling to you guys. These books are going to be one of a kind. They're going to be beautiful. Let's start off with Don McTague's Sworn Luxury Edition. The price is $25. Your price after the Blackest Friday sales will be $20. That's $5 off, guys. Look at that. Beautiful. Five bucks off. Get you all hooked up. And check it, check it, check it. This is the Luxury Jeweled Edition. Don McTeague is the artist on this as well. Look at that stunning piece. Uh-oh, uh-oh, who do I got here? So We're, I'm gonna Show take, interruption. I'm going to take everything here, so <laughs> don't worry about it, guys. <laughs> What's up, Davey? How are you, man? Good to see you. Wow, what a nice little surprise we just had there. Davey Calabrese is in the house. It's always fun. It's always fun to have visits. So this is the uh, Luxury Jewel Edition by Don McTeague. Price is $45. Uh, for Blackest Friday, it will run you 36. These are real Schwatsky crystals. Am I even saying that? Schwarovski. Schwarovski. I'll get it right one of these days. That'll be my New Year's resolution. Um, Mel should decorate my hat. Well, yeah. Um, I, I'd hate to ruin this hat, though, dude. This thing is... This sombrero is amazing. Uh, next up... This is the hollow foil edition of the luxury. This is the naughty hollow foil, to be exact. We got our little thin tip bars, so we don't get in trouble. Beautiful piece, and this is going to be a hollow foil cover, guys. The mock-up is not hollow foil, but that's okay because, man, these books are going to be stunning. I've got a <laughs> since this release went out. There's been a lot of people asking about these, and they are just as beautiful as they appear on camera. Another great item that we are offering as well, this is the Lady Death Sworn Metallic Luxury Edition. There's an awesome little mock-up stamp down below. Check it, check it, check it, guys. And this is a great price. This is $100, but your price after the savings for Black Friday is $80. It's a really good deal on a brand new metal. Eric Hart, it's really nice to see you, man. How are you today? Hope you're having a very wonderful day. But wait, that's not all. Not only do we have the amazing Don McTeague doing additions for us, we also have Sora Song with colors by Kate Colors. Oh, that was easy. This, these two editions are $25 each. These are the Scarlet Yuletide and Yuletide. They are $25 apiece. The price after savings is $20. Five bucks right off the price, right as you buy it. And then let's not forget the awesome homage. This is the Dazzler edition. And this too, price after savings is uh, like 20 bucks. So really good deals, guys. Taking five bucks off the price of these, you're going to get $20 off of that. I mean, guys, this is some really good deals. I have never worked in a place where we made new additions and offered them on sale on a Black Friday at a discounted price. I, I, I've just never seen that done with new merch. That's amazing. Another reason why I'm happy to work for Coffin Comics. But hey, there's also the luxury metal card sets. There's only 99 sets. 99 these will not last long. I'm not anticipating them to either, but these will go quickly. Uh, 99 is, uh, well, that's not many when there's a lot of people I know that collect a lot of the metallic cards. So these are stunning pieces. Yeah, the Sora covers are really hot. I think I actually like just the regular Yuletide. That one, I just love it. But I think she, uh, she really captured uh, just the beauty uh, and, and the mischief, I think, in uh, her face. I totally agree with you guys. Miguel. Oh, nice, Eric. That sounds like a wonderful day. 
Right on. I'm glad you're having some time off and you and your wife are spending some quality time together and enjoying the holiday cooking. I got a lot of cooking to do when I get home too and help it out around the house and making sure everything's taken care of and cleaned and um, make sure we got everything cooked and prepped so we can throw it in the oven the next day and I can start gaining weight. So you all know with these additions, we also have 11 by 17 prints. Uh, in case any of y'all do not uh, collect the comic editions and you only want to go prints, well, we got prints too. Some really great prices, guys. This blackest of the Black Friday is going to be so much fun. Boom, 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 boom. So these are all the 11 by 17 prints we are offering as well along with the vault items that will be going up i will not reveal anything of a vote i want you guys to be surprised but the uh price on the 11 by 17 prints normally there's 16 dollars after your discount will be 12 dollars and 80 cents jay thank you i hope you have a really good holiday too um i i plan to hopefully sleep in and also guys again i Mel just knocked it out of the park with her decorations. It's it, it really looks like a festive Christmas up in here. So, thank you, Mel. Moonshine Mel, everyone. Round of applause, round of applause. Damn, that's beautiful. <laughs> and I really like what she did with all the gifts and everything at the bottom. And then here's some uh, items uh, we think you might be interested in. Uh, I do not think so, no. I do not. I don't know. Maybe. I know the, there's some items we just don't discount on there, but I think some of it will be. Whatever's left. I know uh, a lot of the stuff I've had up been putting on the catacombs have been selling out day one. Um, there's a couple things I'll have left over on day five when I take them down. Uh, but usually, um, yeah, the last few times I went to take stuff down, everything had sold out. So, yeah. 12-hour shift, dude. They better feed you. So, I don't know about the catacombs. I, I would think so. On some of the items in the catacombs or whatever's left. Um, so, yeah. I guess we will find out. I don't see why they wouldn't be. But I know it's 20% um, off not everything but select items throughout the store. But there's a lot of... Pretty crazy items uh, on the store. Like, I really love the challenge coin sets. And I do have um, just single challenge coins uh, from the silver, gold, and copper. Uh, there is a few of those on the eBay store. Gotta love the black and red. Yeah, I agree. That that is, That is just one sharp look at Christmas tree. I love that uh, she made sure she got the cowbells on there and all this other stuff. I mean, she really went all out to get this pimped out just right. I mean, her and Jimmy helped out too. Yeah, no kidding. I, I think you should have the day off, dude. Come on, man. 12 hours on Thanksgiving? That's nuts, dude. That's absolutely nuts. You deserve better than that. I hope they're treating you well at your work, man. All right, so I only got a couple minutes. Um, let me go back in here. But, guys, there's going to be a lot of really fun stuff. A lot of really fun stuff. My sombrero is bumping into every corner I turn. It looks silly. I look silly bumping into everything. So, real quick. Bingo! Locked into place. Um, again, thank you, everybody. Um, this has been uh, a weird year for all of us. Um, but the one thing that got me through... Um, is doing these shows uh, on Mondays when I only did the, sh the one show on Mondays. It really helped me get through everything, kind of helped me relax. And I got to, go, got to get to know all of you customers uh, that reply back or have messaged me on eBay picking up stuff. Um, I don't look at it just as a sales transaction. I look at it like a, kind of a friendship thing. Um, a lot of you have told me some amazing stories about what our books and characters mean to you and just told me what... Uh, how we make you feel and it showed how important Coffin Comics is to all y'all's lives and um, I am humbled by that. Uh, it's been an amazing experience and I can't wait for the rest of the year. So thank you folks. It's been an honor. I'll see you guys on Monday on the CCSN. 
Enjoy your Thanksgiving and um, expect to see me a little heavier. Bye-bye, guys. Thank you again.